Do you ever have a miracle that you needed some help with? Did God deliver you in that miracle situation? And come on and tell them thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Show some miracle and say gratitude for what God has done for you. They were telling us a lot about being thankful in the world. Amen. It's preaching time. Amen. Y'all just happy to sing all that good stuff about thank you, Lord. Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah, the Hittite. And David sent messengers and took her, and she came in unto him. And he lay with her, for she was purified from her uncleanness. And she returned unto her house. Amen. James, chapter 1. Let's begin at verse 2. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Drop down to verse 12. 
Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempted he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Amen. Amen. Thus ending the reading of the Holy Writ. Amen. And I just want to use for these few moments that I have with you uh, the sermon titled Fighting Temptation. Fighting temptation. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we come in the name of Jesus. It's preaching time. I can't preach unless you preach through me. I can't move unless you move me. I can't even walk unless you hold my hand. God, hide me behind that rugged cross that men will see you and not me. Take me out of self and use me for your divine glory. Lord, decrease me, pray now that you may increase in the name of Jesus. Lord, if I'm too high, bring me down. If I'm too low, pick me up. If I'm too far, draw me in. Give me power to preach this morning. I pray that someone will be saved, someone will be healed, someone will be set free through the preaching of your gospel. Now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Let everybody say amen. amen. Fighting temptation. By definition, the word tempt means to try to get someone to do wrong. All right. Temptation means the act of tempting or the state of being tempted. All right. Temptation occurs when the opportunity is presented to do what we know is wrong. All, right. cool. Cool. All of us have been challenged by some sort of temptation in our lives. We have all been faced with temptation one time or another. That's right. Temptation, my brothers and sisters, is as old as the human race. All right. Temptation comes in a multiplicity of ways. Some forms of temptation is obvious, bold, and in your face. Yet some forms of temptation is sneaky, subtle, and discreet. Everybody in here has been tempted by something. Some of us are dealing with or being faced with some form of temptation every day. Some of us are tempted by various foods that we shouldn't have for health reasons. Have I got a witness here? Some of us are fighting temptation at the job. Many of us are fighting the temptation to cuss our supervisor. <laughs> if it's you, just hold your head down and let us pray. Lord, forgive him now. Amen. <laughs> Some of us are, are fighting the temptation to go back to or go back, go to or go back to alcohol or drugs. Some are battling the temptation to go to the number hall. Or gamble at Atlantic City. Some heads went down. They shame on family. They shame on family. Some of us are fighting the temptation to engage in some type of sexual sin. Whether it's fornication, adultery, pornography, or homosexuality. Some of y'all are even fighting the temptation to fall asleep. As I work this intro, amen. Nudge up and tell them, wake up and listen to the preacher. Nudge up, nudge up. Yeah, yeah. My brothers, my brothers, my brothers are fighting temptation every Sunday right here in Little Rock Baptist Church. I'm going to lose some of y'all now. All right. Because every Sunday I watch some of my sisters come to worship with tight jeans. Jeans and pants so tight, you can see every curve. The good ones and the bad ones. We see them all. My sisters are coming to 
worship with short mini skirts. So high they can't even get into the worship. Because you're steady pulling down the skirt every other second. It's tight when it's right here. My sisters are coming to worship with the outfit that they wore to the club last night. You know, you know that 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 freak of dress you know, in the closet that, that somehow found its way to worship. My sisters are coming to worship with their breasts so squeezed up, showing all your cleavage. My brothers can't even concentrate on worship because you're showing all of your goodness and mercy. Y'all yeah. say they're nasty. No, you nasty. No, ain't nothing wrong with the men. No, no. Cause if you show them, they're gonna look. Men don't wave your hand. Just say amen by yourself. Say amen. Say amen. Cause if, if they don't look, we have a bigger problem. was good for food and that it was pleasant to the eyes 
house and the tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof and did eat and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. Any Bible readers here? Eve yielded to temptation, and as a result, they got thrown out of Eden, and mankind, mankind was thrusted into damnation. Y'all smile. We're still friends. We're still friends, ain't we? <laughs> Samson, Samson, the, the judge of Israel, also allowed temptation to lead to his demise. Samson was tempted by the woman he loved named Delilah. Watch her, watch women named Delilah. Watch her. I just got, I feel funny when I see a Delilah. Yeah. <laughs> Samson allowed her pouting and persistence to convince him to reveal the source of his power. Yeah. After Samson finally told Delilah his secret, she cuts his hair off as he fell asleep in her lap. Yeah, that's right. Samson, who was so anointed with strength, he killed 1,000 Philistines with the jawbone of a dead donkey, yielded to the temptation of a woman. Samson yielded to temptation, and it's ultimately led to his death. Some women are smiling now because they know they have that power over us. Y'all stop smiling. Wipe the smile off your face. Yeah, finally, Achan, in, in the book of Joshua, allowed the temptation of money to lead him to disobey Joshua's instruction and God's command. Right. Achan declared in Joshua verse 7, chapter 7, verse 21, I saw a beautiful robe from Babylon, 200 silver coins and a bar of gold weighing more than a pound. I wanted them so much, I took them. Because Achan yielded to temptation, he was later stoned because of his actions. All right. All right. As we move to the text, we find yet another individual who had a hard time handling temptation. David, the king of Israel, looks down from the roof of the palace and sees a beautiful woman named Bathsheba taking a bath. All right. David is so overwhelmed by Bathsheba's beauty and uses his position and title to sin for her. All right. Now I told you earlier, temptation occurs when the opportunity is presented to do what we know is wrong. Yeah. David was a Hebrew and knew the scripture and commandment of God that declared, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. All right. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, yeah. nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. David allows his lust to overwhelm him, and he disregards God's commandments. Somebody say choices. Right. Choices. Right. choices. Right. David yields to the temptation and has sex with another man's wife. Then tries to cover up his mess by orchestrating the death of her husband, Uriah. Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. know the story. This is Sunday School 101, yeah. Now, I, I want to help you learn how to fight temptation. Yeah. Now, however, we can learn from David's mistakes. There are three mistakes David made that led to David's yielding to temptation. Number one, David neglected the duty of his office and title. It's right here. It's right here in the text. I'm not making anything up. I read and I preach from the Bible. Yeah. David neglected and it said, and it came to pass after the year was expired at the time when the kings go forth to battle that David sent Joab and his servants with him and all Israel, and they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Rabbi. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In other words, David stayed in Jerusalem when he was supposed to be in battle yes, as the king. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. See, my brothers and sisters, the moment you allow your focus to get off what God calls you to do is when you open yourself up to be tempted. Yeah. Let, let me say it again. The moment Get off what God called you to do. Yeah. You open yourself up to be tempted. Yeah. Yeah. You know the saying, and I don't mind. It's the devil worship. That, that, that's why Paul instructs us to be steadfast. Yeah. 
unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. If you want to fight temptation, keep your eyes on what God called you to do. Number two, his second mistake, David was drunk with power. But brothers and sisters, be careful how you allow power to influence your decisions. Temptation plus power normally equals trouble. Ask Jerry Sandusky. Y'all been reading the news? Ask, ask Bishop Eddie Long. Temptation plus power. Man, y'all getting quiet on me. I, I must be touching. Temptation plus power equals trouble. David used his power, title, and authority to send for this woman that belonged to another man. Yeah, yeah. Number three, David tried to cover up his sin with more sin. Oh, a tangle web we weave when we practice to deceive. Be careful how you keep using sin to cover up sin. Cover up more sin. I told God y'all gonna get quiet. Yeah, yeah. David also. But what's interesting about King David is David is a type of Christ. David also initiates the new order by which the church should worship through the tabernacle of David. David's tabernacle typifies the church. In other words, David illustrates and shows the ability of the New Testament believer right. by yeah. realizing we can go back to the Father after we lose a fight to temptation. All right. Here it is, Psalm 51, he cried out, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercy, blot out my transgression. Is there yeah. anybody here glad that we serve a merciful God? Yeah. Glad that we serve a forgiving God. Glad, glad, glad that we serve a kind God. Glad that we serve a long-suffering God. A God that will give us another chance. I, I wonder is there anybody in here glad we serve a God of a second chance? Yeah. I, I serve a second chance God. But, but how, how can we fight temptation? What tools do we have to resist temptation? So glad you asked. My brothers and sisters, the best example to use to fight temptation is Jesus. So I say Jesus is our example. He's our example. He's our example. He's our example. Jesus was tempted of the devil for 40 days. And in Luke's account, Jesus gives every believer the tools to fight temptation. All right. Luke 4 and 1 said, and Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. Right. Yeah. Hey. Returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Right. Tool number one, you've got to be full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Not full of willpower. No. Right. no, not full of willpower. Not, not full of personal stamina. No. Right. Jesus was full of the Holy Ghost. Is there anybody here glad that you got the Holy Ghost living on the inside? The paracletos, the, 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 the comforter, the guy, the Bible declares, and ye shall receive power. Power to walk right. Power to talk right. Power to live right. Power to love right. Power to resist temptation. First tool to fight temptation is you've got to be, you got to have and be full of the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tool number two, you've got to use the Word of God. Right. Satan tried to tempt Jesus to turn a stone into bread. Jesus used the Word. Uh, all right. He said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Satan tried to tempt him with power if Jesus would just worship him. Jesus used the word. Somebody say, Jesus used the word. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. For it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Jesus used the word. He, he said, thou shalt not tempt 
the Lord thy God. The next tool you must use to fight temptation is the word of God. My brothers and my sisters, my assignment this morning is to help you fight temptation in your life. And I'm so glad that God has some tools for the battle. He gave us a piece of himself to live on the inside. And I heard the songwriter declare that there's something on the inside. Taking you but such as common demand. But God is faithful. 
Amen. For someone who wishes you 